Okay, well here we are, welcome to video one. Um, and on today's video, I am gonna take you through step by step how to create your fan page. Um, and then over the following videos after that, I'm also gonna show you how to create a list building landing page where you can put in video and graphics um, and all sorts and an autoresponder. Um, and, uh, and along with that, I give you a generator form so you don't need to know anything about FBML code. You literally need to put in all your images and everything and it does it all for you and some templates of graphics and all that sort of thing. Um, then uh, we also have some videos on uh, promoting your fan page, some basics to starting to promote your fan page and some fabulous interviews with some amazing people. So uh, it's quite an exciting short video series. I hope you really enjoy it and thank you very much for coming on board. Um, I personally am loving Facebook. Um, this is actually a remake now, this video, because Facebook have just recently in the last week um, completely changed the back end of their um, fan page. So this edit page down here, that's now completely changed. Everything behind a fan page is now totally different to when I first created this video. So this is a brand new how to create a fan page video including all the new information. Um, and the exciting thing for me I think is that when I first created this, these videos it was three months ago when I started my Facebook journey and at the time I knew very very little um, about Facebook and fan pages. I'm now three months on. I know an awful lot more. I still got an awful lot to learn. Um, what I love about this business is I'm kind of teaching as I'm learning, but I also I still do know a lot more now than I was. And the really exciting thing for me is I'm actually monetizing Facebook after only three months of using it, which is very exciting. So I do hope over the next few videos, I'm going to be able to impart quite a, quite a lot of knowledge with you guys. A lot of you will have come in through the fan page. I know some of you came in through my web page as well, but if you came in through the fan page, you would have come in through this landing page here. Now this landing page is actually created by a company called fanpageengine.com um, and I do have a video telling you all about fan page engine as well, but what I'm going to show you is this part here because this is actually an Aweber form Okay, so I am going to show you in video two how you go onto Aweber, your autoresponder, and actually utilize their form templates to create a form. And what I originally did when I set up my fan page is I had nothing else on here except that. I literally, I didn't have any videos or anything like that. I just had that form on my um, fan page. So it's that easy to get started. You don't actually need anything else. You could literally just have the autoresponder web form up on your fan page, okay? Um, but what I'm gonna show you as well is this is my template. So this is the template I give you um, where you'll be able to put in whatever graphics you want, a video which plays directly on your page. Oh, I haven't got auto play on that one. I'll show you how to do that. Um, so that plays directly on your page. Hello, how are you doing? Joe Barnes here. Thank you. There you go. That's quite exciting. And there's your autoresponder form there for people to leave their name and email address. Okay. And then last but not least, for those of you who perhaps aren't too keen on video, then you can replace it and just put an ebook image or your video product series or whatever it is that you want on your landing page. Okay. So all of these. Um, this is what I'm going to show you um, in video two, exactly how to create your list building landing page. Um, so for now, let's get on with actually how to create your fan page. And what's very exciting about this, let me just show you, this is my fan page, okay? So I started this fan page on the 18th of August, and we're now on the 8th of November. So it's just under three months. Uh, I've got 3,734 fans so far, and I have got a really, really busy chock-a-block fan page now with loads and loads going on, and my fans growing um, regularly on a daily basis, um, and just so much going on. And I, the more and more I use the fan page, the more I'm realizing the power of this. So if you're just starting out and you're about to create your fan page and you're starting a new business or you're doing internet marketing or whatever your goal is, I guarantee you a fan page, a like page and utilizing Facebook and the power of Facebook is going to be massive for you. Massive. And I just can't wait to um, 
to show you how to really, really use it um, to, to the best you possibly can. All right, so let's head over to my, this is my profile, um, Joe Barnes, my profile here on Facebook. Um, so I'm going to um, assume that most of you will already have a Facebook account. So the first thing you actually need to do is to log out of your Facebook account. This is the easiest way, I think, to get you to create a page. So log out of your account, okay, and go into the main Facebook account, which is www.facebook.com, okay, and down the bottom here, you're going to see create a page. So you click in to create a page. And that's going to take you to this page, okay? All right, now here what you've got is you've got the option to create a community page or the option to create an official page. Now, what's the difference between these two pages? Well, I haven't really played much with community pages. I do know that community, the community pages um, are more for, let's say that you wanted to create a page around um, the Foo Fighters, for instance, okay? Um, you wouldn't be able to come down here and create a, a brand or an artist or whatever called the Foo Fighters because you're not the official representation, representative of, of the Foo Fighters, yeah? Unless, of course, you're Dave Grohl's wife. And if you are, I'm really happy you're listening. And is there any chance um, I can come and visit for tea? Uh, but anyway, if, if you wanted to create a page around, say, the Foo Fighters, then that would be you'd need to create a community page because you don't have to be the official representative. You're kind of sharing your interests, if you like, yeah? So an official page is more for you, your brand, your business, um, your website, whatever it is you want to create. And also be aware that what we want people to do is, ideally, is to land on your welcome page. Yeah, When people um, click your link, we want them to land here where they can see your offer and see what's going on and opt in and what have you. With a community page, that's not possible. Okay, they'll go straight to your wall all the time. With an official page, you have an option whether you want them to land on your wall or whether you want them to land on your opt-in landing page. Okay, now there, there are slightly different layouts for each of these three choices here, um, and that's mainly in the um, information that you provide, and I'll take you through that now. But so let's just pick one, okay, and I'm going to go for public figure. Right? I don't know if Facebook are going to allow this. And I'm going to call it Facebook Queen. <gasps> are Facebook going to allow one with Facebook in the title? Our automated system will not allow the name Facebook Queen. Okay, what about the Facebook Queen? <laughs> They're not going to allow it, are they? Create the page. No, they're not. Okay. All right, well, we'll go back to plain old Joe Barnes <laughs> test page. Test one, we'll call it. Joe Barnes test one. I am the official representative of this person. I am the official representative of Joe Barnes test one. But clearly, I am not the official representative of Joe. Oh, I wonder if I could call it Joe Barnes the Facebook queen. I don't think they're going to allow it. Anyway, so moving on. Here we are. If you have not yet created a Facebook account, this is where Facebook will ask you to create a Facebook account, okay? If you already have a Facebook account, then you click on, I already have a Facebook account, and put in your email address and your password, and log in. And that's then going to take you to your fan page. Now, basically, guys, that's the creation of your fan page. You've just created your fan page. It's up there. That's it. Okay, it doesn't look like anything yet, but that is the beginning of your fan page, and it's that simple. And you know, the reason I created this free video series, okay, originally when I started doing this, I created this free video series because I could not believe that people were charging between $75 up to $1,500 to create fan pages for you, okay? And not only that, companies were, were charging hundreds and thousands to create these landing pages. I did all my research and I couldn't find anybody who wasn't charging under hundreds of dollars to create those landing pages. 
And I was just so frustrated, I couldn't believe it. So basically, I decided to create this free video series. Now, three months on, I now actually have got a course and I'm you know, doing more work and, and all that sort of stuff. But originally, when I set this up, I had no idea it was going to be as popular as it was. And I literally did it out of frustration at the amount of money um, that people were charging to do what is such a simple thing to do. So if you've just followed that now and you're sat here, you've just created your page. It really is that simple. So let's now just start to edit your page um, and play around with it and you know make it look a little bit nicer. So the first thing to do is you can upload an image. Now, what you've got when you first go into your page now is this long page of stuff. So you can go in here, you can add an image, you can import contact. We'll come back to the image because I want to show you something else. You can import contacts. Okay, so this is basically you can, if you've got a contact file, um, like a CS file or something, and you want to import loads and loads of contacts into here, or web, you know, Hotmail or whatever, maximum of 5,000 um, contacts. You can import contacts and put them in here, and that will invite them to, to your page, okay? Um, you can edit your page and provide some basic information about yourself. So if I just click on that. Um, and this is where, this is also your, in your basic information on edit page, I'll show you that in a second. But this is where the difference is between those three groups I showed you, yeah? So if you decided to be a local organisation or a public figure or, um, you know, something, a brand, then this in here is slightly different, there's slightly different layouts, yeah, of the, of the information that you provide. Let's go back to that main page. You can promote this page on your, that, sorry, that's your um, status update where you'd post your first update, we'll come back to that. And this is where you could add a like box and set up your mobile phone. I am not going to go through these um, on today's video because they take a little bit more explaining. Um, but a like box, you're going to be able to, with a like box, you can basically take your box and put it on your website. Yeah, um, so that you see these on, on people's blogs and stuff, they have this box here, um, and that's basically what a like box is, okay? And uh, this originally, just to tell you a quick funny story, this originally was the example that Facebook had was lactose milk, lactose free milk or something on here. Um, and for days I tried to put this like box on my blog, and it didn't matter what I did, I had lactose-free milk on my WordPress blog for days. I couldn't get it off. I was desperately trying to put my fan page on there, and I just had lactose-free milk on my blog for days. So um, don't worry if you get it wrong. <laughs> we all get it wrong, um, and it all comes right in the end. Um, and then you can actually now connect to Twitter. You can't do that on all of them, but on if you're a public person or public profile, then it will connect you directly to your Twitter account if you've got a Twitter account. So that's kind of what you can do directly when you go on. But here is what I call the hub. If you go over to edit page, then here is essentially the hub. This bit here is now the hub of your fan page. This is where you can edit and create all sorts of different things. So let's go down this step by step. Let's start with... Man so everything you just saw on that main page is pretty much on here. Yeah, that's all on this hub here. And I'll take you through each one bit line by line. So we start with manage permissions. So this is basically your administration area of your wall. So the first thing I would do is make sure that only admins can see this page. Yeah, you don't want everybody having a look at what all your settings are, okay? Now, if you want to restrict your fan page to a specific country, so if you only want to attract people in the US or only in the UK or whatever, then you can put in a restriction there so your fan page will only be live to um, you know, those specific countries okay and you've also got age restrictions in here as well you can select age restrictions um, if for instance your content may be you know x-rated or something so okay uh, so you can select age restrictions there um, your wall tab is basically um, who what posts show on your page so all posts mean if you post if your friends post yeah that shows every single post if however you click only post by page then you can choose whether just your friends comments show or just your comments show okay so of course I recommend all posts you know make sure all your posts are on your page um, yeah, make, make your wall spam filter visible to the admins only. And then this is the really important one. It's your landing tab. On here, you can decide where people will land when they visit your fan page. 
So it's in here. Oh, hello. Some jet flying over. I hope it's not Qantas with their engines exploding all over the place. Um, so yeah, here you can basically decide where people land. Okay. So like I showed you here, I've got mine set so that people land on my landing page. Yeah, with my video and my opt-in. But you can choose, it depends on what your objective is, and the lovely thing about social media, of course, is that you can direct people to your wall with all the activity and all the rest of it and build a relationship with them before you ask them to sign up. It really is entirely up to you. Um, but once we've added that welcome page, this is where it will show, and this is where you will click to make it the default landing tab for people to land on it. Okay? And then the posting ability has changed slightly from the old fan page. Uh, it used to have the different, they can add links, they can't add links and stuff like this. So you've got users can write or post content on the wall, which you definitely want. And then users can add photos or users can add videos. Now you need to be very careful because your wall can become a big wall of spam if you're not careful. Um, so my personal opinion is... Um, I would take off photos and videos for now until you're up and running. But if you're a business that really wants to encourage lots of photos and videos, then obviously you need to make sure you keep them um, ticked. Yeah? Because the more exciting content people can put on your wall, then the more people are going to come to your wall to have a look. So actually having people adding photos and videos is a really good um, thing to have. But you might want to sort of set some ground rules first and make sure that people aren't going to start spamming your wall. You need to, you need to be working on your wall on a daily basis and removing any spammy comments. Um, and then this is where you delete your page. If, you, if, you, if the page is no good and you want to get rid of it, you just click permanently delete this page and boom, it's gone. Okay? Um, so then we move down to the second one, which is basic information, and this is where you are going to put all the information about you. Um, now, as I said, neutral. I wonder what neutral means. What an interesting gender choice. Gender, female, neutral. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to put female. Um, and then on here is where you're going to start to put everything you want to put. Now, you can put as little or as much as you like. The one thing you must include is your website. So whether it's a blog or a website, whatever it is, do make sure you put your website. For a start, it's a great um, link back to your website from one of the highest ranking, number two ranking websites online. Um, and also it's somewhere that people can go to find out a little bit more about you. Yeah, I would also put your profile link on here as well so people can go through and, and see you on your profile. Um, and then any personal information, your interests, if you want your email address on there, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is where you put your information. And like I said, if you've chosen a local business, for instance, up here comes your business opening hours, I think it is, in here. Um, if you've chosen a website, um, then there's less personal information. There's more sort of website information and stuff like that. So you're going to get different basic information for each of those three different choices when you first created your page. Okay. Then you've got your profile picture. Now, this is why I wanted to come here and not show you. If I go back to view page a second, see up here it said upload an image from your computer. Yeah. Well, over here, if we go into edit page and go to profile picture, you've got the choice of select an image from your computer or you can take a picture. And by taking a picture, it means from your webcam. So you're now going to see me. <gasps> Sorry, I haven't got any makeup on. I'm recording this video. <laughs> Um, so you can basically take a picture from your um, camera on your computer if that's what you want to do. Okay, so we'll cancel that. We're not going to take a picture of me right now. Um, but let's browse on my computer and let's go in and see what we've got: Facebook and images and avatar. What's that? Oh, that's my avatar. No, we don't use that one, do we? Um, what about FB header one? No, we don't want that one either. Oh, let's just use that one for now. Okay. So I'm uploading a picture. Create a Facebook fan page. There you go. Um, and it's not great. It's too small to be an avatar. Um, but I'm going to... Oh, actually, why don't I do one of the avatars that I'm going to send you? Hold on one second. Right, sorry, just went off to find that. So let's just pick one. Here we go, avatar one. Okay, let's open that and upload that as a picture. Okay, so there you go. There's your, there's your avatar. Okay, so that's for your profile picture. 
so we go back to view page now and you'll see that will now be on your on the sidebar okay so that immediately starts to give it a little bit of personality um, and then we go to marketing okay so there are many ways to promote your page there are loads of ways to promote your page and the course I'm doing at the moment is called 2,000 Fans in 27 Days. Um, and I'm basically going through every, every day different strategies to promote and grow your fans. And there are just loads of different ways. It's fabulous. Facebook is just a giant. I can't get so excited about it. Um, but anyway, you can advertise on Facebook and use Facebook ads, which I am currently using to great success. Facebook ads is absolutely brilliant um, and I'm very, very proud to say that I've managed to get one of my ads down to seven cents a click at the moment um, and uh, it's just, it's a superb way of advertising on Facebook so um, that's something we'll talk about later. You can get a badge. Now I don't want to go through all the different badges now, let me just go to that application though and quickly show you because badges are really quite cool. Um, I haven't used badges to their full potential yet but they're actually quite cool. Um, you can basically go through, you can play, If you imagine you've got a bit more of an um, expressive avatar, yeah? you've got something that tells people a bit more about you, so this is like my funny club for instance. Um, so let's say I wanted to add the badge to my website yeah then I could basically just click other and go and get the code and add that to my website okay or you can edit the badge um, and you can start playing around with it and you can have your status in there or your picture or the you know change the name you can have it horizontal you can do all sorts of stuff but also what I really like here is you could put if you've got photos uploaded onto your fan page you can create a photo badge yeah and also you can create like badges um, which is basically uh, where you're liking other people's pages. So if you've already liked lots of other pages, you can go on here and you can pick anyone on here and say, yeah, I want to, so let's pick Anthony Robbins, for instance. So I can, Joe Barnes likes this, and you can put that on your website and show people all the other sort of pages that you like and stuff. So that's really quite cool. It's, it's always nice to share information, I think. Um, anyway, and there's all sorts of other stuff you can do with badges. So badges are really quite cool. Um, and it's pr probably another video kind of all on its own really to go through badges but to be honest with you Facebook makes most things quite simple to do and then you, that, there's your add a like box to your website again so that's exactly like um, what I was just showing you a second ago there about adding the like box to your website manage admins this is a uh, a better way than before last last time it, it was quite elusive to manage an admin but now all you literally need to do is to start typing a name um, of you know one of the one of your friends so for instance um, here we go I've, my friend who, man, who who is like my co-administrator is, is a guy called Paul, a brilliant guy, Paul McCarthy, a fantastic internet marketer. Um, and basically, the reason you should have two admins, guys, it's really important to get a friend of yours to become an admin with you. And the reason is, is because if for any reason you ever um, do something to upset Facebook and they suddenly cancel your account and ban you, then you're going to lose all access to your groups, to your profile, to your fan page. So what you need is to have a very trusted person who can become your admin so that you've still got control over your fan page even if your account is banned for any reason. Okay, so do make sure, and they do need to be trusted, because remember you're going to have all these fans and, and you can post on your wall and all sorts of stuff, so it's got to be somebody that you really trust, um, you know, not to, not to abuse your fan page and, um, and who will, you know, obviously give you access should anything happen to your account, so that's quite an important point, okay? Alright, so then we move on to the applications. And in the applications, these are your tabs that are up on your page. If I go back to the page, can I get rid of that? Yeah. Um, here are your tabs, okay? And there, that's essentially your applications. If you go back to edit page and go into applications. So here you've got your photos, your video, your links, your notes, and your discussion boards. Now I'm not going to go into these in great detail, but very much like your profile, you can add videos, 
you can uh, sorry add photos you can add videos and with your video you can basically either upload a video or you can record a video directly onto Facebook okay um, and I, I I haven't played with this to any great degree but I believe that if you upload a video onto Facebook or record a video directly onto Facebook then there's an immediate like box on the video so if you start distributing that video around and people like it okay then that's going to really help you with your um, with your fan base um, there's a link, so as you start to apply links onto your wall, then um, there's a links page there with all the links and everything. But you can also use your static FBML box and create your own links tab with all of your resources and things on it. So for instance, if you're um, in this because you want to become an affiliate marketer and you want to put lots of resources and all the rest of it, then rather than just applying them on your wall and allowing Facebook to automatically put links on here, you can actually use a static FBML tab, create a whole resources page, design it, um, you know, and put all your sort of affiliate links and everything on there. So again, another video altogether. Um, notes, uh, notes are fantastic, um, and uh, basically you can either write, I, I uh, um, compare notes if you like to article marketing offline, yeah, writing a note is almost like article marketing on Facebook, um, and when you write a note, um, you can tag people so it goes onto other people's walls or they need to be very careful about that and make sure you only tag people who um, you've, you've already sort of built a great relationship with or you have an agreement with them that you can tag them. Um, but the idea is, is that you want people to share your notes, comment on your notes and kind of get your notes out there and make them as viral as possible. Um, because the more you can do that, then the more people will start to look you up and want to see what you've got to offer. Um, but notes are, are I, I do look at it like article marketing online. But the other thing you can do with notes is you can also, by using the edit import settings button over here, you can actually import an external blog as well. Okay. Um, so if you've got a blog and you're updating that on a regular basis, then you can basically import that onto your page. Um, and that will show up on your wall as well. Every single time there's a new blog entry, it's going to show up on your wall that you've written a new note, essentially. Okay? But there are other ways as well. That I've got other videos. If you go to my wall and my fan page wall and stuff like that, I've got loads of other videos on things like networked blogs and stuff like that to show you how to import blogs and stuff onto your page and your profile. And also, I've got loads of videos out there, guys. So, um, And then you've got discussion boards. And discussion boards are like a forum basically, online. People start discussions, create discussions, other people respond, have a chat, blah, 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 and, you know, the more sort of discussions you can get going on your page, the better. It just means there's more activity. So that's kind of, I'm going to come back to static FBML in a minute, okay? So then you've got the mobile settings. So this is how to set up all your mobile phone and mobile email and the iPhone and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through that right now, okay, because that's going to take some time to go through. But if you want to experiment and play around with that, then that's what you do with that. Your insights are your essentially your analytics. This is going to tell you how many people are liking you and your feedback and all that kind of stuff, okay? Again, that's a kind of a, another video altogether. And then a, there's a Facebook pages help section um, which goes through all the different things. So if you've got any queries or questions, you can nip over here, have a look and see what Facebook is saying about it. All right, so guys, to be honest with you, that is the basics of creating your page, okay? Um, what I would say to you is to make sure once you've set up your page, one of the most important things to do is to go over to your status updates, over to your wall, and put something on here straight away. Welcome to my page, it's great to be here, I'm really excited, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, you know, what you're going to do is then you're going to go out and you're going to suggest it to all of your friends. But I think I go through that with you in video three after you've created your landing page and everything. OK, so before we go today, how am I doing on time? Oh, my goodness, we're up to 28 minutes. I'm so sorry. OK, two more minutes before I go today. What I want to do is I very quickly just want to show you how to add that welcome tab up here. OK, and then tomorrow I'm going to show you how to add to it. So if we go over to edit page, okay, and then go to our applications section, and then down the bottom you're going to see it's going to give you your applications you may like, okay. You simply go over here, they've made it a lot easier now because obviously they know that a lot more people are using static FBML, and you click add application, and boom, 
they've added it straight for you it's there okay um, so basically all you do then is you go to your application that's your that's your edit page so let's call that welcome for now okay and this is where we're going to put all our code to build your fan page to build your landing page save changes okay and go back to and there it is there's your welcome tab it's up there and you can actually move these tabs around look I think you can only go as far as wall and info are always there and then your welcome tab could be number three okay um, and then when you go over to edit page and you go back to applications then it's now called your welcome FBML okay and as I said in video two I'm going to take you through now how to really jazz up that welcome FBML and to put on your list building landing page all right um, thank you very much for listening I'm sorry it's been a bit long um, but I do hope that it's given you all the information you need to go through and to create your fan page um, if you've got any queries or questions then please don't hesitate to go over to my fan page wall which is uh, www.facebook.com forward slash free fan page templates um, so like Veronica here has uh, or asked a question on here which is great so do pop over here because it's, it's not only me but there's a great community of people on here now so there'll be lots of support from other people as well so come and get involved and become part of the community other than that have a great day and uh, and I will see you on video two okay thanks bye bye